Hey, Dave Reagan here. I'm so excited today. We're going to show you a beautiful house that was just built um, here in Waterford, Connecticut. One of the things I want to show you, though, as, as we talk about building new houses, we've got to be very careful on the position of our houses as far as the elevation is concerned, where it's going to go on the property. This piece of property slopes from the road down, and we've got to be careful on the elevation of the first floor. We want to make sure the house is up where water will drain around it. And we were able to achieve this, but we have to be very careful when doing this. Um, today we're going to go inside and we're going to show you this beautiful Cape style home. Uh, from, from the outside, it's very simple looking. The customers really wanted the, 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 the older period looking home. Um, they, they really wanted the new home for the, en for the energy efficiencies and uh, some of the design and so forth, but they also wanted the house to look more historical. Uh, they came from an historical home. And as we go inside, I think you're going to enjoy seeing what they've done. So let's go inside. We'll take you around, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, now we'll open the door up. I just want to show you outside here. These people put a nice granite step down, two steps, a landing, a step, and then down to their slate. Again, they wanted some authentic look uh, with granite versus cement uh, concrete step. This looks really nice. Now I'm opening up the door, and as you can see, a beautiful green wood door they put in. Um, and, and as I come here, I want to start to point out the historical look here. The furniture, all 1800 uh, period furniture that they, they've received through the years, bought through the years. We, we turn, look and just look back at the foyer, the staircase going to the second floor, we'll go up there in a little bit, and you can see the hardwood floors. They went with pine floors, wide pine floors, again, to make the look that they were trying to achieve. Um, as we come into this room here, their, their formal living room, <laughs> very beautiful fireplace. In fact, if you see the granite, the hearth matches the granite outside. And what they did here, this mantelpiece here with the legs, they actually went around and found an old home. They got this mantle that was, had some burnt marks on it and some, some pieces that were missing. And we came in here and we restored this whole piece to go around their gas fireplace but now it looks very authentic, very nice looking. Shelves on either side that were built per the customer design. Um, color wise, they actually, it was nice to work with these people because they hired uh, and brought in an interior designer, John from Old Lyme, who has uh, impeccable taste when it comes to the, the historical look. And if you just pan around, you can see curtains, the, the colors of the curtains matching the color of the trim, the crown molding, uh, going to the furniture. Um, if you notice the windows, we actually, on the front of the house, we went with grills applied to the glass. Now these are Anderson windows. A lot of times people put grills in between the glass. They wanted a more of an authentic look. So we've got the grills that are applied on the outside and inside of the glass. As we come down through here, I'm going to take you through the dining room area. Again, beautiful furniture that they've picked out. Really can make the house look great. Um, <clears throat> this table is about, I think, about 1850s. This is a, a, a table that looks beautiful. Again, this is just the, the decorations, as you can see in the interior design, very beautiful. This is a sliding glass door that goes onto a deck that they have, a little deck they can go out there and sit and watch some of the scenery in the backyard. Um, again, if you notice the decor, the uh, curtains that come in the, in the colors matching coming in, to the floor with the, with the carpeting. Um, let's take you through here into the beautiful kitchen. As we walk into the kitchen, it's a brand new kitchen. Again, they wanted to make it look more authentic. They went with a sage color green uh, cabinets, granite countertops, a very nice color to complement uh, their cabinets. These cabinets are a painted grade cabinet, very nice cabinet um, with self-closing doors at the top. And then as far as the drawers, they're self or soft closed drawers. They, uh, they're all wood construction and um, really nice feature here. When they design this house and as they go through with the interior designer, it's very important to look at the final fixtures. Now they wanted a farm home sink. This is a great option for people. A farm home sink. They've got the brushed uh, bronze fixture here. We actually went back a little bit deeper. We pushed this out in the wall. Now we've got more space back here and they went with a nice subway, subway tile which looks great. Again, notice the, the color combinations that, that were brought in by the interior designer. And it's really nice when we're working with people that can bring in that 
that designer that can really make the house jump out. As we come down here, I just want to show you some of the, uh, the trim. Very, it's just a flat molding, very simple look. Um, the doors here, these are masonite doors. They're solid masonite material, two panel uh, hardware. You can see it's the historical period hardware, round knobs, very nice. As you pan down here, I like to take you down through the hallway here and just notice to the left side here of you, this is a nice little sitting room. Just all they were looking for is a little place to go. They can read a book. We built some bookshelves in there for them, watch the ball game if they want. Just a quiet sitting room. Let's pan down here as we come down the hallway. Nice wide hallway. Got a little detail here with a little angle here. On the other side we're going to show you which is the master bedroom on the first floor. So as we pan down here, notice the half bath over to the left. They've got a beautiful pedestal sink, toilet, elongated bowl. Now you can notice the hardwood floor is a little bit better here. And you can see that um, they've actually got wood grills that are all matching the pine. Really nice. First floor, washer dryer, as you can see, which is great. It's all set up. A lot of light coming into these rooms. And if I open up the garage here, you can see a garage that is all finished off. Um, let me just see if I can yeah, we'll put the light on. You can poke in there real quick. They got a 24 foot by 24 foot garage and uh, all finished off, <clears throat> excuse me, with paint, wall and ceiling. Really looks great. Let me take you through here down to the um, Now we're going to walk into the master bedroom area. Again, come through and look at the beautiful furniture they have, all the historical look, wide pine floors. They've got a walk-in closet over here. And then over here, if you just want to look into their bathroom here, they've got a nice five-foot shower, granite countertop for their vanity, tile floor, Really nice look. Really nice look. All right, now I'm coming up to the second floor. Beautiful oak stair system, rails. They darkened up the rails. It's oak, but they put some stain on it. Again, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Sturbridge Village. I know when I was a, a little kid, I went up to Sturbridge Village. I feel like I'm back at Sturbridge Village in Massachusetts. As I come up the stairs, we're in a hallway here. We'll show you in a sec, but this is a beautiful bedroom if you want to pan in there. The uh, house from the outside doesn't look as big as it is on the inside. So we've got a nice bedroom upstairs with plenty of closet space. Beautiful uh, decor again, which really makes the house. The people really spend some time <clears throat> doing that. If you just stand back here, just I want to show you. As you come up the staircase here, and again, a nice sitting area here. You can see this. We've got an open rail system over here with another chair on the other side. And that looks really nice. Beautiful look. Look down here, they got a full bathroom upstairs for the two bedrooms up. And if you just pan in there again, again, it's got the granite countertops. Really looks great. The colors for the walls they picked out with John, the interior designer, they did a great job. Again, it really makes the house look great. As we walk down here, again, another nice sized bedroom that they have and some closets that are behind me. But as you can see, again, beautiful. Be beautiful appointments. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you downstairs to the lower level where we've got some, some things that we did down there for them. So thank you. Let's go downstairs. Now I'm going to show you the downstairs. We've got a nice walkout basement. If you remember before in the front, we talked about elevations. This, is, this was somewhat of a difficult lot to build a house on at first. It really sloped down quite a bit, but we were able to pick the house up enough to get water to flow around. And because we had to pick it up, we were able to create a nice walkout, and this is what a walkout, when we talk about it, we're walking right out of our basement. So this is a knee wall instead of being concrete. We've got this nice knee wall, we've got some windows on, on the left side, and we've got the sliding door. So when we do this, it creates some nice space in the basement. So let's go in and I'll show you what they did inside. Alright, so I just walked in here from the, the outside, and nice sliding door, six foot slider. Got a couple windows on the other side. As we walk in, what we did is kind of partially fi finish off the walkout for him, the basement. He, um, customer really likes to work out, as you can see. He's got some great equipment down here. And every time I see this, I get motivated to come back and start working out. Um, but he was really excited to, to know that when we're building the house, 
We can give him an extra circuit. He wanted to put a sauna in over here. Um, he needed a circuit, separate circuit for his, um, his treadmill, which uh, everybody like, needs a treadmill. So we were able to set that up. Um, so he's got a nice system here. Again, notice the duct work. When we're building houses, we want to keep them up as tight as we can to the ceiling. The ceiling itself has been insulated. Um, that's uh, to code. We try to keep pipes, as you can see, plumbing pipes and so forth that come down, try to keep them up high, nice and tight to the walls. We put plastic down over the insulation. That's an important feature. As we come back here, let me just show you, show you the mechanical uh, area here. This system here, this heating system, he wanted the very efficient heating system. And today, one of the most efficient systems out there is what we call a hydro air heating system. Now this is a boiler that some people might, might hear of. It's called Bedaris. Bedaris is a very high energy efficient oil. It, can, it goes by oil or gas. It works out really well. We've actually got two separate zones for heating. We've got an air handler that's right behind me over here. This air handler, hot water comes shooting in through here. Air flows through it like a radiator and it goes to the first floor. And then we've got a second zone that we up in the attic that we didn't show you that has another air handler just like this and that will send hot water will go up there and um, send air on the second floor. Um, separate hot water uh, situation here for domestic hot water very important so this is the third zone. Hydro or heating systems great way of going we also hook in the air conditioning with, with that so we've got two separate uh, condensers outside and actually this is the the line that comes from the outside this is the coolant line and this goes through in the summertime. You can see to the right of me, we've got a nice oil tank, 330 gallon oil tank. Again, when we're building new houses, people are looking for nice and neat. If you notice, again, uh, a 200 amp service, all the wiring, very nice, uh, compacted right here. Over to the right side, we've got a communication box. This is stuff that we look at when we build new houses. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna uh, just recap to say that I hope you enjoyed looking at this house. We know we enjoyed building the house, working with these people. It really makes a, a lot of fun for everyone when they get involved with the color selections and so forth. So we're gonna show you other houses. We want people to know that today is one of the best times to build a new home. You can buy an existing home, but you can also build a new home and get some very good value of it with energy efficiencies, the things you want. So I'll see you again, thanks.